Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out a new guitar. I've been calling this the Impossible Guitar Challenge. What I have here today looks like your basic T-style guitar, but it is much different. This guitar is from Somnium. Right now it has some Lindy Fralin Telecaster pickups, but let's say you don't want those. Let's say you'd like to reconfigure the guitar. You can easily change out the modules and put a humbucker in the bridge, just like that. So now we have a humbucker a Telecaster neck pickup. Or if you like more of the um, neck, humbucker the neck, and the Telecaster bridge pickup, you can do that. So you can see, you may have seen something like this before, where the pickups eject out and you can change them. But that's where you've kind of stopped seeing something like this. First of all, these modules are made out of machined aluminum, so they are really built really well. The other thing that's interesting about them is you can install any humbucker into this module at home with just a provided flathead screwdriver. You can disassemble it very quickly, install your pickup, and put a new pickup in this guitar in just minutes. That's right, any humbucker will fit in this module. In fact, he has many modules, everything from soap bar pickups to filter trons to single coils to humbuckers to mini humbuckers, you name it, he can build you a module to fit that pickup. Again, you can swap at home as many different versions of that pickup, like in this case, humbuckers. You can do double modules or half modules, as he likes to call it, like this, or you can put in one single module like this that has, in this case, lace sensor single coils. The modules are interchangeable. In other words, this is a traditional Strat. <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking, what about the switch? Is it a five-way or three-way? Well, it's a six-way switch. So how that would work in position one, you would have the bridge. Then if you had three single coils like this, you would toggle the switch up towards you and that would activate the bridge in middle. The middle position would be the middle. The next position, if it's toggled up, would be the neck and middle and toggled down would be the neck. If that sounds complicated, trust me, it's very intuitive within seconds. Again, you have a three-way switch but can go up and down as well, making six positions. So if you have two humbuckers, you have a standard three-way switch. If you have three single coils or three humbuckers, you can use a six-way switch. The case it comes with will hold two or four, depending two full size or four of the half size modules, plus what you have in the guitar. So again, you'll have three guitars with you in one case, ready to go. You can also coil split your humbuckers if you would like, but that's not where it ends. The modules are interchangeable even upside down, so. The other thing that makes the guitar part of the Impossible Guitar is, of course, you could take this Sir Humbucker, stick it in the neck pickup, and then if you want to take an active pickup, like an EMG 81, you can insert an active pickup. Listen to the difference. There's a battery in the back. Let's show you this. But the system is not active. If we remove the battery, what's going to happen is your neck pickup is going to work. So if we go ahead and put the battery back in, now we'll have that bridge pickup. What's really crazy is not only can I have an active pickup and a passive pickup, but I can blend them. In position one, you're gonna have the brick. Neck, you're gonna have the passive sir pickup. But in the middle position, you can have both. And just to show you how cool this is, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite pickup uh, configuration right now is the Lindy Fralin Telecaster neck pickup, the Blues pickup, and the EMG 81. Listen to this. This is the 81. Mm -hmm. 
So how does this work and why do I keep calling it impossible? Well, it all starts in the back, so to speak, with this uh, um, solid aluminum, machine aluminum system that goes in the back of the guitar. What's interesting is uh, some of you guys are going to have questions like, how does the uh, having the middle of a guitar gut it out? How does that affect the sound? Well, one of the things that helps a lot is the modules are made of machined aluminum. They're painted or anodized black. They also have stainless steel locking systems like bank bolts. These things interlock and they are strong. As you can see, this is an extremely impressive unit. It can hold hundreds of pounds. This really makes the guitar seem like it's all one piece again. And it really helps with resonating. As you know, they make bridges out of aluminum. Like I said before, it's a passive system. So what's underneath this control cavity is not active electronics. So what you'll have is a 250K potentiometer for the volume and the tone control, which works great with both P90 soap bars, filtertrons, PAF, humbuckers, single coils, Everything kind of sounds the way you want it to sound. But what about those active pickups? Well, what's interesting is well, you'll notice if you, when you connect the wires in the modules, there is a different terminal for the active pickups. One terminal is going to send the power from the nine volt battery to the pickup. The other terminal is going to run this into the system where it runs through a different routing line, which will now kick that potentiometer down to 25K. Other features on this guitar is a 25 and a half inch scale and a 12 inch radius fretboard. They call it a slim C profile. It feels more like an American professional strap so it's in that sweet spot. I love it. Cortison curly maple uh, neck, East Indian rosewood fretboard, stainless steel frets, and a dual action truss rod. I asked for this stripe, uh, the black stripe, so that the modules blend in. They don't just kind of look like they're sitting there in the center. I wanted it to look very purposeful. This is burnt orange, and then of course the black stripe. If you notice, the stripe doesn't go to the back because they just want it on the front, like a race car, like a hot rodded car. It looks really cool. But you can get the whole guitar in black and save yourself a couple hundred bucks. But also this is the TS3, which is kind of the telly kind of vibe. There is an SS3, which is more of a Strat kind of vibe. And if you go on their website, you'll see that they actually do some extreme other kind of shapes and crazy guitars if you're interested in those, because not everybody just wants the same old, same old. I particularly were after this guitar because I thought the Telecaster style body lends itself to more pickup configuration than probably any guitar I've seen. We've seen Jim Root tellies with EMGs, James Burton with the lace sensors. We've seen Nashville tellies, which have, you know, the tele pickups with a single coil strap pickup style pickup in the center. We've seen uh, the uh, Cabernita with the Filtertrons. Now the body on this guitar is made of two pieces of alder and has a polyurethane finish. I never thought of it this way, but pickups really can change the way you physically play the guitar. Let's go ahead and take this 81 EMG against the Pete Thorne Sir Humbucker. Here we go. Now I like that. I think it sounds good, but I want to show you on this 81, where are we at? Here we go. The 81 pickup right here. Same lick. It immediately, even though the strings did not change tension, we did not change guitars, nothing has changed. I physically am perceiving it different and playing it totally different. It, it feels like you just changed the tension. I feel like all of a sudden the strings are looser. I feel like I can bend so much higher all of a sudden. And I think it's because the way the pickup is giving me more sustain because it's obviously giving more, more push on the amp. It's pushing the Dirty Shirley a little harder. And again, I want to swap back. This is kind of crazy. And we're good. this is what we'll be doing in the videos with the pickups. Like I really, really feel like it's easier to solo with the EMG81. So I had this experiment where I was messing with these two pickups. Another thing I wanna show you is the uh, how well they clean up. It's 
crazy to me how adding actives and passive togethers have been seriously mind altering. Um, but not only that, there's a ton of other stuff I can't wait to share with you guys. But right now I just wanted to share the Somnium TS3, which is the, I call the impossible guitar. If this is a guitar you're interested in, keep in mind Somnium is a American made company that builds these guitars 100% in the USA. They're machining everything. They're doing all the tooling. They have the machine shop. This isn't something outsourced anywhere else. They're doing this, lining up these, these modules so that they're perfectly flat, with the guitar, painting the modules so that they line up if you want your guitar either with a stripe or black, um, lining up the modules this way, designing the electronic system that is, as you can see, very comprehensive, but also not so comprehensive that you don't feel like you're disconnected from a normal kind of guitar. So if it's something you're interested, I'd suggest you check out their website down below. As always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because obviously if you're gonna probably be interested in those pickup videos, at least I hope so, and uh, hit that bell notification if you're a current subscriber and you wanna know when those videos are coming out. They'll be coming out every Monday. It's called Pickup Monday is what we'll call it for now until we have a better title, or maybe that's the only title. And as always, thank you so much for your time and know your gear.